guys welcome to my channel Sat Edition. Today I will unbox the electronic device. The electronic device is basically a Flysky CT6B transmitter remote. This is 2.4 GHz RF transmitter receiver system. I will open it and show you guys that what thing we will get inside the box and how to use it. So don't skip the video watch till the end. So let's get started. This is the Flysky CT6B RF remote. It has some specification which I will tell you and you can also see in the screen. This transmitter has 6 channels. Its frequency is 2.4 GHz. Basically its range is from 2.4055 to 2.475 GHz. It means it has a bandwidth of 500 kHz. The RF power of the transmitter is less than 20 dB. It works on AFHTS, it means Automatic Frequency Hopping Digital System. To power this remote, we have to use a AA battery because the working voltage of this remote is 12 volt. We can also use AA battery which is rechargeable because in the remote a charging port is available and the color of the remote is black. You will see later on when I open it. If we see at the bottom side of the box, there is some specification for the receiver FSR6B. Obviously, it also has 6 channels because the transmitter has 6 channels. Its antenna length is 26 mm. We can supply the receiver by a 5 volt supply because its voltage range is 4.0 volt to 6.5 volt. It has more information about it in the manual. Now I am opening it. At first, we get a quick start guide. It is written in Chinese and the opposite side it is written in English. So we can get both the languages in this quick start guide. Now we will see which things we will get inside the box. Here is the USB cable, basically USB to PS2 cable. By using it, we can program the remote. After that, we will get the receiver. As I said before, to work it properly, we have to supply a 5 volt DC to it. There is a 6 data channel and another channel for delivering the power to the receiver. And this red thing is the antenna. The cable or you can say a wire. Uh, is called is bind cable or bind plug which is used to bind the transmitter and receiver at last this is the remote it has two joystick uh, one is on the left side and one is on the right side the left joystick is called throttle and the right joystick is called elevator we have two toggle switches at the top of the remote and uh, after that we can see to potentiometer controls is also available. In the bottom side, there is a on off switch and a bind button. Basically, this bind button is used to bind the receiver and transmitter together. Here is the antenna and this antenna is foldable to make it more portable. In the back side of the remote, we can see a PS2 port is present where we can connect the programming cable and program this remote. This is the battery chamber. There is some space for a AA battery and charging port is available on the right side of the remote to charge these batteries. So next we will see how we can get the value from the receiver by changing the joystick and other controls in the remote side. For powering the remote, I am using 3S lithium ion battery pack. The battery is 18650 cell, which is of 3.7 volt, and the battery voltage is near about 12 volt. Now I will program it. I already connect the USB cable to the laptop, and now I am connecting the PS2 jack to the PS2 port of the remote. To program the remote, we need the application software on PC 
named as P6 config. I will give the download link in the description or you can also install it from the CD which you will get inside this box. So at first I am opening T6 config. After connecting the remote to the laptop we have to turn on the power switch of the remote. After this setup we able to see that when we move the left joystick up and down then the value of channel 3 is changing and when we move a left and right direction the channel 4's value is changing and as like the left side joystick while we moving the right side joystick up and down and left and right we will see the channel 2 and channel 1's value is changing respectively so for the potentiometers we got the channel 5 and 6 for the left side potentiometer we got the channel 6 and for right side potentiometer we got the channel 5 besides this there is many configuration on this application if you want to learn it so i will make a video a separate video on this topic so let me know your suggestions in the comment section my receiver is connected to arduino mega or you can use any microcontroller I will supplying it from the Maker's 5 volt pin and ground pin and the 6 channels of the receiver are connected to the 6 digital pins of Arduino Mega. You will get the circuit diagram from the description as usual and the circuit is very easy to make so I am not discussing the circuit over here you can easily get it from the description. Basically the output of the receiver is a 50 Hz square wave in which the on time is varied from 1 millisecond to 2 millisecond, rather we can say 1000 microsecond to 2000 microsecond. By using this signal, we can drive a servo or PLDC motor with the help of PSC directly. When I will turn on the transmitter, the receiver light will also turn on, and it says the transmitter in receiver is connected. Now I will open up the serial monitor of the Arduino. Here you can see the values of each channel, basically measuring the on time of the 6 channel by using pulsing function in Arduino and it gives the value returned in microsecond units so we will get the 1 millisecond to 2 millisecond value in the range of 1000 microsecond to 2000 microsecond. I will open up the T6 config at a time, now you can see in which channel T6 config value is changing. In the serial monitor only that channel changing its value. So by using this value we can use various logic in the Arduino or in any microcontroller you need to for various different kind of works. Later on when I build any project like an electric vehicle or any aeroplane or drone then I will discuss it about more. If you guys like today's video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and comment down below what project you want to see using this remote and if you are new to this channel or seeing me first time then please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for notifications. And the most important thing, be creative.